Hi everybody, um, this is Alex, and I'm back after a couple of weeks, um, and it's been kind of busy, uh, around my way, so I haven't been able to get out to do this, but I finally have a day off, so I'm going to show you, um, how to make an altar. Um, the first thing that you should probably do is to gather your supplies. Um, I've decided to use wood as I'm pretty good at painting that. It's not really hard and it's a pretty durable thing. And there we go. I got a simple box from Michael and of course it's a finish it box. It's originally for um, like photos and stuff but um, it works for my needs because it's going to be a traveling altar and as it looks like just a regular box most people aren't going to you know, freak out if you start hauling a box someplace. Um, so you need the thing that you're going to be painting on or anything like that. You can use tile or natural stone, something that's easy to paint, something that's going to be forced to take the paint. Um, I have plates here that I use to put uh, my um, paint and stuff on, as you can tell. The ones that have like the plasticky coating work really well with paint um, because um, unlike the actual paper plates, paper plates, these are art paper, um, these help keep the paint uh, wetter longer. Some plenty of paper towels to wipe your uh, paint brushes on. You're going to need, of course, paint brushes and um, graphite paper in black or white um, to transfer any stencils or any designs on, of course, any stencils that you want. And, of course, you're going to need paint. Um, when it comes down to paint, you have quite a few options. Well, mine in a big stroke for box. You have um, Apple Barrel, you have Folk Art, you have mm, like Delta Serum Coat, and then you have the, 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 like, Craft Smart Paint. Um, and of course, you can use whatever colors you want. Um, these are just what I have here at my local Michaels. Um, these are all acrylic paints. Um, one thing you should probably know is that they all have like different qualities to the paint and uh, ease of painting. Um, I think these two right here, which is the sound coat and the folk art paint, these are really, really good. If you want to do one or two coats, they coat really well. They're pretty creamy. I think this is the creamiest of them. Um, so you're not left painting, you know, six times to get the color you want. You can paint once or twice and you're good. Um, Apple Barrel is pretty good. It's a mid price paint. Um, I think it's like <coughs> 89 cents a bottle or something like that. And then this right here is the cheapest paint. And I use it um, for like smaller areas, stuff like that. And it's about 50 cents. The cheaper your paint, the more you're going to have to paint if you want to do a large area. But for small areas, this is the way to go, or for colors you're not going to use a bunch. So, with that said, and let me move all this stuff out of the way. The first thing you're going to want to do is move all your crap out of the way so you can actually have some room. Is you're going to want to, if you have anything on here, like the sticker, you just remove it and toss it. And make sure that, you know, before you buy it, you should just make sure that it's pretty smooth. You don't, um, if you want to sand it, you can. You don't have to, but if you want to, you should do that before you start painting or anything like that. Make sure, you know, that it's not got a whole bunch of, you know, like, marks and stuff through it. When it comes down to painting wood, and I found with painting, is you have quite a few different types of brushes. 
is that you're going to want to wet your brushes first when working with acrylic paints because they're water-based paints and it just smooths on a lot easier. Uh, I might have to redo this, but I'm not. Like that. Alright, now I'm going to go wet it real quick. Be right back. Pretty easy, right? And you just go and you dip like that. I'm going to put in here. Oh, well. And you just kind of squeeze it out. These are kind of old brushes, but I tend to use mine until I just decide to get rid of them. And you can use whatever color you want. I'm using black since it's a really nice color. I really like black. One of my favorite colors, brown um, color, whatever. And then just, I'm using a paper one, but that has black paint already there. And you just do your first coat. Really simple. And you load your brush. And then you just And when you're doing the first couple of coats, you don't really have to worry about being really, you know, nice and neat with it. Especially if you're just doing one coat and it's just one really large area, you can just paint. I find it easiest to um, just go like that. And as you can see right here, this is a serum coat. It's pretty much going to require one or two coats depending on what it looks like when it dries. So I'm going to paint this and then I'm going to be back and I will go on with uh, how to put the designs on if you've never worked with graphite paper.